what is speech fever or post-maturation convulsion syndrome. It is an involuntary shaking, shivering, or twitching that happens after urination. It is like the prolonged shivering that a person experiences after exposure to cold environment. This is also called pea shatter or pea shake. Although this happens mostly among males, this is not exclusive to males, as some females also experience it. Babies, boys or girls are also observed and reported to do this too. This phenomenon commonly happens during or after voiding large amount of urine. So what is the cause of pea shatter? There are no formal scientific research to explain this phenomenon. At this time, there are only theories to at least explain it. One theory is the temperature change, and the other theory uses the autonomic nervous system of the body to try to explain this mystery. The first theory goes for the simple explanation of changes in body temperature. When you pee large amount of warm urine, this causes sudden drop in body temperature, thereby causing the shivering. The other theory of this bodily event uses the autonomic nervous system to explain it. The autonomic nervous system of the body regulates the smooth muscles of the heart, the blood vessels, the pupils, hair follicles, the stomach, the intestines, and the bladder. In the autonomic nervous system, we have the sympathetic nervous system or SNS and the parasympathetic nervous system or the PNS. The sympathetic nervous system is involved in fight or flight. What it means is that in emergencies or dangerous situations, the response will be to fight for your life or run for your life. To do that, the sympathetic nervous system causes the release of epinephrine or adrenaline and norepinephrine or noradrenaline. In addition, during emergencies, dopamine is also released by the brain. These chemicals are the so-called stress hormones. So in emergencies, the sympathetic nervous system causes the following. Your heart rate and blood pressure increase. It dilates the pupil so that you can see the enemy better or see more clearly where to go or run. Also in emergencies, you would not like to be peeing all over or making poo either. To prevent this, the sympathetic nervous system slows down the intestines. The sympathetic nervous system relaxes the bladder wall, but it tenses up the sphincter muscles at the bladder opening, thereby preventing urination. The parasympathetic nervous system does the opposite. The parasympathetic nervous system is involved in rest and digest. In relaxing situations, there is no release of the so-called stress hormones. When you are relaxed, your heart rate and blood pressure will decrease. Your pupils will constrict. There is digestion in the stomach. There's movement of the intestines, and when you want to urinate, the bladder wall contracts, and the sphincter muscles around the bladder opening relaxes to initiate urination. So how might the autonomic nervous system explain pee shudder? As we said, the sympathetic nervous system's job is to prevent urination. It releases the stress hormones that we mentioned earlier. When you hold off urinating for a long time, the bladder becomes full and distended. The sympathetic nervous system becomes more active. This causes more release of adrenaline, noradrenaline, and dopamine. When the time comes that you want to pee with the distended bladder, the parasympathetic nervous system will kick in. There will also be sudden decrease in the production of stress hormones. This initial decrease in stress hormones will cause changes in various bodily functions, especially lowering the blood pressure. Some experts believe that this lowering of the blood pressure will trigger the body to protect itself. This will cause the reactive increased release of the stress hormones like adrenaline, noradrenaline, and dopamine. This will help to restore the blood pressure to its normal level. They believe that this reactive increased release of the stress hormones is the cause of pee shudder or shaking. It is observed that the longer you hold the urination in, the more severe the pee shudder will be. As I said, these are all theories for now. Maybe someday we will have more concrete scientific explanation for this phenomenon. Thank you for watching. Bye.